Recently, we had a look at the custom-made Coke-possessed Arctic Liquid Freezer 2 for the Max. And yes, it did perform like an Arctic Liquid Freezer 360. But it did so at the cost of noise. A lot of noise. But no matter the noise, Arctic's claims were proven right. And it was kinda shocking to see that a 240mm is actually 360 worthy with just the right amount of unconsensual motivation. Now, after doing the video, one question was still unanswered. What would happen if we slap three of those P12 Maxes on top of a 360? Will it perform like a 420? Will it fly? Will it do my tax declaration? One thing's for sure, it will be loud. It would be very loud. But let's get to it. First off, we needed a baseline, so we slapped the regular Liquid Freezer 420 using P14s on top of our 13700K, pushing exactly 200 watts through the socket. Naturally, it topped the benchmark at 60.6 .6 degrees C above ambient. So to clarify, we are starting at 65.8 above ambient with the stock 240, then we go down 3.6 to the 360, and then we go down another 1.5 to the 420. But before we continue with this monstrosity, just a small and interesting observation I made with, with these videos. We are doing our regular CPU cooler reviews on a 3900X, or we used to do them back then, but we were only pushing 135 watts. And all this time, I believe that once we go higher and we push 200, 250, 350 watts, that the difference between every cooler will become significantly bigger. But that's just not always the case. I can't speak for all the coolers or the bad ones and all this, but for the Liquid Freezer series, which is one of the best AOs out there, the difference has become quite a lot smaller, which is weird, but okay. But enough distractions. Let's see what happens if I slap three 3300 RPM fast spinning P12 Maxes on top of this poor Arctic Liquid Freezer 360. Although it gained a full degree C above ambient, it is not quite the Liquid Freezer 420. At 61.1 degrees C above ambient, the hardcore version of the 360 landed on the second spot on our benchmark list. Now, let's be honest here. We are talking about a 0.5 degrees C difference, and that's definitely margin of error. Of course, it seems like it's better, but it also seems like the gain is significantly smaller than it was with the 240. And that does make sense. In the end, all liquid freezers are using the same pump, they have the same cold plate, they have the same everything, except for the red size and amount of fans. So it's only natural that the gain will at some point become smaller with bigger red sizes up until the point where there is just no gain anymore. But still, it's better. But what about the noise? Oh, the noise. First up as a reference, as expected, the Liquid Freezer 420 has a slightly better noise to performance ratio than the 360, except for the very low RPMs. But generally, if we look at the stock 240, 360 and 420, we can see how it improves a lot going from small to big. And then it improves slightly less going to enormous. But now let's add some extremism to that enormous thing. Oh. Oh, yeah, that, that's loud. Now, there's a lot to be said here. First off, at some point, the 360 and 360 Max did align quite well, or the Max was actually slightly better. And going quicker from there, the 360 Max took off, becoming louder and louder and louder, while it's getting only slightly cooler. But if you go into the other direction, the regular liquid freezer actually wins the race, becoming a lot quieter a lot sooner. But compare that to the liquid freezer 420, and it's, it's one enormous hour. But let's remind ourselves how it was for the 240 Max versus 360. The end performance was almost equal, the Max was just hella loud. 
And this is the same thing. The 420 reached its peak very quickly, while the P12 Maxes needed to push and push and push to get to almost the same point. Which of course is due to the different size in the end, 420 versus 360. And something else you can see that describes the same thing is the range between 70 and 100% fan speed on the Liquid Freezer 360 Max. Actually, the construct did not become any cooler once you pushed beyond that speed. Why? Because there is just so much heat that you can get out until the red size or pump or coal plate or whatever gives up. And what's really interesting here is that this did not happen with the 240. It needed a 360 form factor and three fans to get to this point. So what I'm assuming here is that if one day Arctic comes out with a P14 Max and if you were to slap them on a 420 liquid freezer, you would get slightly lower temps and then just a flat line for everything above 2000 RPM because as it seems, the bigger the red, the smaller the gain. Maybe, or hopefully, one day we will see if that is really true or if I'm completely wrong and we will just create a nuclear power plant cooler. Who knows, I just hope that Arctic doesn't take too long for their P14 Maxes because the world could really use some new and better 140mm fans. But for the 360, unlike the 240, don't. The gains are minimal and I mean minimal while the noise is maximal and with maximal I mean it hurts. A lot. Don't do it. Uh, but hey, this also means that Arctic cherry-picked their comparison for the P12 Maxes. And of course they did. Using the 360 versus 420 would not look as good. So of course they did not do that. But in the end, 420 Max, yes, definitely yes. 360 Max, no, definitely not. Not until they update something. On a side note, we also have a Discord server. So if you want to join, the link is down below. And of course, we still have channel membership, so if you're looking for a good way to sell yourself an RG poop emoji, that's a pretty good way to go. Additionally, you can rest assured that the income will not only keep the channel afloat, but will also serve to get a lawyer to force Arctic to release an updated Liquid Freezer 240 Max, because apparently you cannot force a private company to create a product via a normal petition. Seems like a bunch of people mimi -mi around doesn't force them to do anything. But a lawyer may. Anyway, thank you for watching and if you haven't seen the P12 Max general review, make sure to check it out because that fan is just interesting as a whole. Hope to see you in the next one. Bye bye. Oh, uh, by the way, I'm not done.